Now we are going to understand the quality plans that will be helpful during the process. We will be going through each of the quality plans. Let us take cutting quality standards we follow. So basically in cutting we are basically dealing with the raw glass. So it covers EN572 which is for clear glass, EN1096 for color glass and EN1863 and 12150 for the treatment process where the glass is undergoing. Now let us take each parameter what we need to check in the cutting department. Let us take thickness. So in the thickness of the in order to measure the glass thickness the standard what we follow is EN1863 the page number is 8 and the clause number is 6.1 or EN572 part 2 the method test we follow is vernier caliper or micrometer and the requirement what we need to understand is as the glass we are basically dealing with the raw glass it involves float glass or a patterned glass or a drawn sheet or a new antique drawn sheet. Now let us take the thickness tolerance for every float glass. Let us take the thickness is from 3 mm up to 6 mm. My glass thickness is 3 to 6 mm. The allowable thickness tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.2 and the frequency of testing shall be for every 2 hours or whenever there is a change of thickness. Now if my thickness is from 8 to 12 mm, the thickness tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.3 mm. And if it is for, for 15 mm thickness, the, th the thickness tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.5 and for 19 and 25, the thickness tolerance is plus or minus 1.0. Now let us take the next test parameter that is dimension, width and height. If you see the width and length, the, the, the method that uh, the test method what we follow is the measuring tape and it is based on for example the my, my panel size is less than or equal to 2000 mm and my glass thickness is less than or equal to 8 mm the dimen dimensional tolerance allowed is plus or minus 2 mm and for the thickness more than 8 mm the dimensional tolerance allowed is plus or minus 3 mm in the same way if my panel size is between 2000 and 3000 mm for the glass thickness less than or equal to 8 mm the thickness allowed is plus or minus 3 mm and for the thickness more than 8 mm, the dimensional tolerance allowed is plus or minus 4 mm. If my panel size is more than 3000 mm and my thickness is less than or equal to 8 mm, the dimensional tolerance allowed is plus or minus 4 mm and for the thickness more than 8 mm, the dimensional tolerance allowed is plus or minus 5 mm and the frequency of testing shall be for every 2 hours. Next let us take the diagonal measurement. The test method what we follow is the measuring tape. And for this, if my panel size is less than or equal to 2000 mm and my thickness is less than or equal to 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 4 mm. And for the thickness more than 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 6 mm. If my panel size is between 2000 and 3000 mm and the thickness is less than or equal to 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 6 mm and for the thickness more than 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 8 mm. If my panel size is more than 3000 mm and the thickness is less than or equal to 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 8 mm and for the thickness less than or 8, le, for the thickness greater than 8 mm, the diagonal tolerance allowed is less than or equal to 10 mm and the frequency of testing shall be for every 2 hours. Next let us discuss on scratches, pinholes and clusters. The, the standards what we follow is EN1096 and it is measured through measuring tape and we, for in order to measure the scratches we need to consider whether the scratch is in the main area or edge area and based on the intensity whether it is a medium scratch or a heavy scratch or a light scratch we need to analyze. If my scratch length is more than 75 mm in the main area it is not allowed. And if you see the edge area, it is allowed as long as the scratches, scratches are separated by a distance of more than 50 mm. And the frequency of testing shall be for every glass. If my scratch length is less than or less than 75 mm, in the main area, it is allowed as long as the density is not visually disturbing. And in the edge area, it is allowed as long as the scratch is allowed as long as it is not visually disturbing. When you see the spots or the pinholes, the standard what we follow is EN1096 
and the tool what we use is a measuring tape and again if you see the spots or pinholes we need to understand with respect to main area and the edge area. If my spot or pinhole length is more than 3 mm in the main area it is not allowed and in the edge area also it is not allowed. If you see my spot or pinhole length is between 2 to 3 mm in the main area it is allowed if it is not more than 1 square 1 by square meter or it is allowed only if it is not more than 1 by square meter. When you see the clusters, the standard what we follow is EN1096 and again the tool what we use is a measuring tape. In the main area it is not allowed as well as in the edge area it is allowed as long as the visual intensity or the vision is not disturbed and these tests will be done on every class. Now we will be understanding the various lab tests that a glass undergoes. Let us take cutting tests. What are the tests that a glass goes in cutting department? Generally in cutting department the glass goes through the below test. First one is the length and width. We need to measure the dimensions of the glass with respect to height and width. That for that we will be using a measuring tape. Next we will be checking the thickness of the glass with the help of vernier caliper. Next we need to check the diagonal to avoid the mismatch of the glass at the right angles. We need to see visually the scratches and also the raw glass defects like bubbles, stones and chip offs and coating surface identification should be always there and the coating should be at the top of the bed. This is the test that we are going to do at cutting section. Let us take cutting. In cutting section we are going to focus on thickness of the glass, dimensions of the glass, diagonal, we will be focusing on coating as well as we will be focusing on visual inspection like spot or linear defects on chip offs. Now let us understand everyone in detail. Let us take glass thickness. So the glass thickness based on the customer inquiry we will be measuring with vernier caliper or micrometer. The measurement shall be taken at the center of the four sides. The acceptable thickness tolerance is plus or minus 0.2 for 3 to 6 mm thick plus or minus 0.3 for 8 to 12 mm thick and plus or minus 0.5 plus 15 mm thick and plus or minus 1 for 19 to 25 mm thickness. Next let us understand the dimensions phenomenon. The glass width and length are measured using a measuring tape that the first dimension shall in general be width followed by the length. The acceptable tolerances for width and length are plus or minus 2 mm for the thickness less than or equal to 8 mm and plus or minus 3 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm when my dimension of the panel is less than or equal to 2000 mm and it is plus or minus 3 mm for the thick for the thickness less than or equal to 8 mm and plus or minus 4 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm when my panel dimension is between 2000 and 3000 mm and it is plus or minus 4 mm for the thickness less than or equal to 8 mm and plus or minus 5 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm when my dimension is more than 3000 mm. Now let us understand the diagonal phenomenon. The glass diagonals are measured using a measuring tape. The acceptable tolerances for the difference between the diagonals is less than or equal to 4 mm for the thickness less than or equal to 8 and less than or equal to 6 mm and it is less than or equal to 6 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm for the dimensions less than 2000 mm and the diagonal difference is less than or equal to 6 mm for the thickness less than or equal to 8 mm and less than or equal to 8 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm if, the, if my panel size is between 2000 and 3000 mm and it is less than or equal to 8 mm for the thickness less than or equal to 8 mm and less than or equal to 8 mm for the thickness more than 8 mm when my panel's dimension is more than 3000 mm when, when my diagonal dimension measures more than 3000 mm. Next, next point of inspection in cutting is coating surface identification. If you see in the figure if you take any glass, a single glazing unit, it will have two surfaces, namely surface 1 and surface 2. We can call it as a coating surface and non-coating surface. This is a simple method, identification of the coating surface by pencil test. Just we need to, we need to place the pencil on the top of the glass surface. If you are able to feel a single point of impression that indicates it is a coating surface. When you are able to see multiple inflections or images of the object, it indicates it is a non-coated glass or surface. Next coming is your visual inspections like spots, linear defects or chip offs in the kind of chipping or scratches. 
that will be measured based on the in intensity of the defect and at a particular distance. What is the distance? It is visible, whether it is from 1 meter, 2 meter and 3 meter and the intensity is light, medium or heavy. So, that this concludes our cutting inspections. This is the outer loader where they are going to place the cap, heat, penetration and they are going to pick up the heat and then the factory is coming. the vacuum has come to one glass and it is taking cutting bed. Yeah, now it is going to cutting bed. Now it is getting aligned with the cutting table. So the conveyor belt now it is moving to cutting bed. So now the glass is in the cutting bed. You can see one more sheet is getting lifted to the auto loader. See, this is the order what the cutting person did. You see, this is the work order. The tracing of this order is done through the help of work order. In the work order, sometimes there might be different specification. So, this booking number will give you the traceability. And next one, the, if this is a particular marketing reference, marketing person who has referred to this particular order. And the customer name is Fashion Geek Enterprises. And the billing address is, this is a billing address. If at all, project name is there, it will be mentioned here. And this is the tentative delivery date. That we, that we are going to give to the customer. If you see, this is the specification of the glass which describes the thickness of the glass is 10 mm and the type of glass is a clear glass and during the process it has to be done toughening and the type of etching grinding is CP and it is a rectangular glass. In this particular row, if you see, the width and height are given and the area, square meter is given here. If at all the glass is having holes or cutouts, that will be mentioned here and the shape it is a rectangular glass and the quantity is 2. During the process, the, the, during the process, this is the root chart. You can say cutting, grinding, fabrication, design, tempering, lamination, DPU and dispatch. So, through this process, the glass is going to get and ready for dispatch. Now, they are going to feed the sizes in the CNC machine. Here, the intention, the main purpose of this cutting operator is to maximize the yield and minimize the wastage. So, with the proper selection of sheet and the feeding of the sizes will give you the wastage and yield percentage. You can see that is a perfect cut. This is a software used for optimization. You can see the sheets and the sizes of the that is parent and child sizes. Child sizes you can see. Totally four sizes are coming in that particular sheet. Now first the head will be positioned in home position, and now it is getting the scoring. So with the help of cutting oil, it will give impression to the glass. We will have cutting wheels inside the, that head. Based on the glass thickness, different cutting wheels can be used. For 12 mm thickness, we use 155 degree angle cutting wheel. Now it is making a marking on the glass. Now it is moving to the breaking table. To the conveyor, now it is going to move to the breaking table. You can see the glass is moving through air. You can see the bottom, you can find blower and it is moving through on air.
Now with the help of tool they are able to make, break the excess glass. This is a punching tool, pinching tool which will be used to remove the excess pin. Now he is writing the remarks or sizes or on the glass. So here we need to make sure that all the operators who are lifting glasses are wearing aprons, arm guards, gloves and safety shoes. Now you see, they have switched on the blower for the air and the movement of the glass. With the help of pedal they are going to break the glass, that is a breaker. Now you see, he is removing the excess trim on the glass. Come this where they are going to clear. this is the scrap material now you see in cutting they will be measuring the dimensions that is width they will be measuring the height they will be checking even diagonal also So they will be noting the measurement whether it is as per the customer requirement or not. If you see they are using paper as the interleaving to avoid a direct contact with the glass. are sharp. Now it is going for grinding section. If you see these are all half the glasses cutting base it means once the glass cutting is done these are all rest over pieces. You can see all these are off cut glasses. So that kept on it all. Parent sizes and the child sizes. You see here shape he has keep it. Now he is going to do a shape cutting. So he is giving the border to the glass. He is selecting the appropriate drawing and giving the border to the glass. You can see the layout that is going to be get cut. It is a triangle and a circle that is going to be exhibited now.
Now he is starting the expression of this thing. Cutting is done basically with one to two bar pressure and appropriate selection of the cutting wheel based on the glass thickness. Now you can see now with the help of cutting head and the wheel the glass is getting marked. Now it is picking the tool. Now it is doing marking. You can see it is taking a shape now. You see it is a circular shape. It is a circular shape. Now it is taking a triangle shape too. So in this with this machine we can do all types of shape that is required. Once the marking is done, now it is going to breaking table. Now it is going to breaking table. You can see the impression. You can see the impression. Now it is going to break with the proper finishing tools. So that is a circular glass. Now this is, that is a manual cutter, with the help of manual cutter they are going to break the glass. That is a manual cutter. You see. See how he is breaking. He is making sure that at the time of breaking the glass not get damaged. So you now you can see the circular glass has been cut. So we are using all the blower for the easy movement of the glass. having sharp edges that will be grinded in the next stage. Now online inspection will be done. Here he is measuring the dimensions of the glass as per the customer requirement or not. Now if you see for this particular circular glass he is measuring the dia. He is measuring the dia for the circular glass. 